You wanted to be a fisherman, huh? There's plenty of better things you could be doing in the game, but you decided to fish? Well, I may as well help you out. In my opinion, fishing has to be one of the most difficult skills in the game, along with foraging and, and farming, but I, I hate both of those anyway. But, you know, somebody has to do it, and I'm here to teach you how to begin. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the fish merchant. To start with, the fish merchant will sell all types of fish, so if you're an Iron Man and you want to get fish from somebody from an NPC and you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it from this guy. But the main thing we're going to want is this fishing rod. This fishing rod has magnet one, doesn't really matter, but it's a fishing rod, and you're going to need a fishing rod, you know, fish. So there's multiple different places you can go to fish to start out, but since you're in the hub and you're you're, you're terrible. You may as well just go ahead and start fishing here until you get most of the minions for the, for the fishing crafts. Once you have enough fish for the minions, you can go ahead and start progressing through the armor and rod. To start with, you can get the angler armor. To start with, this armor could give you four secret creature chance if you have the full set, and it'll give you another four on top or with the set bonus, and it'll also give you minus 30 damage from secret. Another rod you can go ahead and get, the challenging rod. Challenging rod's pretty cheap. There's only about 24,000 coins, and it'll give you way better stats than this regular fishing rod. And with that, you're going to fish until you have the level requirements for salmon armor. I'm pretty sure the salmon armor requires around fishing 14, so you're just going to go ahead and regularly, fi regularly fish. Of course, you could also place down minions to make this process go by faster. If you're too lazy, just put super compactors and lava buckets in and just make about 10 to 15 minions and just wait until you have enough. Or After that, salmon armor is really cheap to craft. If you get the collection from regularly fishing, which you most likely won't, you can craft it at 2.5 thousand collection. But honestly, if I were you, I would just go ahead and buy it on the auction house. You could just look at it, type in salmon armor. The whole set should only be about 30k each. Most people won't want to go for the collection, so if you just type in in the auction house, it should only be about 30,000 per- and there it says fishing skill 13. So you don't have to fish as long as I thought. Only fishing skill 13, which won't take too long. So all you gotta do is fish until fishing level 13, and that's gonna get you your next set. And in my opinion, this is where you should start fishing in this spider's den. With your fishing rod, you can go ahead and start fishing here in the spider's den. What I like is about the spider's den is that there's some people you could fish by, and this is most likely where you want to upgrade your set even more. So, that being said, how are you going to upgrade your set? My opinion is that you get the dolphin pet, the regular common one, for about 60,000 coins. Most may argue that the uncommon and rare are also viable as well, but in my opinion, they aren't viable because they they give about the same perks and stats as the regular common. The only upgrade that you're going to want, the only upgrade that you're going to want for the dolphin pet is up to the epic level. Once you get your do dolphin level one, a lot of people will spend lots of money on the legendary dolphin, but in reality, you're not doing anything except giving yourself more time to upgrade the pet. So in my opinion, if you have money, get the epic dolphin pet, and if you don't, just go ahead and just get the common. So, the best way to upgrade for your rod is rod of champ. Now, I don't know the, the exact collection level for this. I think it'll change. After fishing for a while, you'll be fishing level 15, and you can get the rod of champ, and make sure you enchant it fully, get all the enchants on it, and you're gonna keep fishing for a while. This is where, in my opinion, the game gets pretty boring. There's lots of events that can help speed this process up. For example, the spooky festival. The spooky festival has lots of spooky content that most people overlook. Most players only go for the spooky contest and don't care about the other aspects of the game. When in reality, you can fish spooky creatures that will give you plenty of XP. Most of the spooky sea creatures will give you over 500 XP, with the most being around 4,000 for the legend. One thing that I've also forgot to talk about is the actual sea creatures themselves. If you go on the wiki, you can most likely see all of the, the sea creatures and see the levels, or you could just type sea creature guide and figure out all the sea creatures that you want. Most of these sea creatures are level locked. That being such, I can't even see most of these. But the ones that you're going to be able to mostly see are the squids, all the lower level ones. But even then, at level 14, you can catch a nightmare, you can catch a scarecrow, catch sharks, which I haven't talked about yet. You can you can catch a bunch of other things. And yeah, lots of sea creatures that you can catch that will give you plenty of XP. After this, the progression kind of goes the progression kind of goes stale, and you're going to just have to fish regularly with your rod of champions, your salmon armor, your dolphin pet, and there's another piece of equipment that I wanted to show you. Recently, with the Crimson Isles update, well, actually, it's not as recent anymore. About six months ago, the Crimson Isle update um, added equipment, and this piece of equipment is going to help out just a teensy bit. On the auction house, you may have seen this item, the Luminous Bracelet. This bracelet will give you one sea creature chance and one fishing speed. That is important. You're going to want this. Pretty much, if you're fishing, get this bracelet. I'm pretty sure there's some other equipment you can get into. I'm not really too sure what they are, but I'm pretty sure that they're very expensive. Once you've gotten this far into the progression, you can go ahead and start upgrading your equipment again. Firstly, you could go for the diver's set. Now, the diver's set, in my opinion, is kind of overpriced, but you will be able to get around eight C 
creature chance for the full set. And it's also a legendary set, so the reforges are a little bit better. But in my opinion, you should start saving up for shark armor. Now, shark armor is level cap, so it's fishing 24, but there is an alternative. You could go for sponge armor. If we look at it, sponge armor is only fishing 17, and it gives 1.8, and it gives 1.8 sea creature chance, and it's way cheaper than diver armor. So in my opinion, if you're a low level fishing player, go for sponge armor and just use it over diving armor. It's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. And you're going to fish until you get level 24. Then you're going to go ahead and upgrade your sponge armor into shark armor. I'll go ahead and show you my shark armor now. Shark armor gives shark armor gives 2.5 sea creature chance, and it also gives a bunch of other stats. Full set bonus, get a lot more damage in the water, but that's kind of useless in my opinion. You only want this for the uh, sea creature chance. Another thing that I forgot to tell you was cakes. These things are very important. For example, this one right here gives you one sea creature chance. So make sure you're getting these cakes just for, you know, extra stat bonus. I just got a kick soul. Another thing you could do is you could get a beacon. Now, this beacon at level 5 will be able to give you an extra 5 sea creature chance. So if you get a tier 5 beacon, you can get 5 sea creature chance. So make sure you do that. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Hey everybody, it's Editor Me, and I totally forgot about fishing bait. Now, I don't have the game open currently, but most likely you're just going to want to use fish bait if you're poor and whale bait if you're rich. I'm so sorry for that. I forgot this. This is like a basic fishing thing. But yeah, I'm so sorry again. And back to the video. You can also go ahead and upgrade ammonite to an ammonite pet. While they may be a little bit expensive, if you watched my last video, you'll probably be a very high heart of the mountain level. So getting that extra one sea creature chance from the extra heart of the mountain is super important. And also with some other things I'll be showing you later, it'll be very important. So make sure you get this pet. It's really good. Make sure you get this pet. It'll definitely help your progression a lot. You could also go ahead and upgrade to a squid pet. Now, squid pets are important because they help you get XP. The only one that will help you get XP is a legendary one, and that's quite expensive. But if you get one to a legendary, it'll give you plus 30 fishing wisdom, which will give you a lot more XP, and I'll be showing you guys a method on how to use the squid pet and the ammonite pet at the same time in barn fishing. Pretty much what you're going to want to do is warp to the desert, and then you're going to go ahead and warp back over to the barn, and here you can go ahead and start barn fishing. What you're going to need is you're going to need a squid pet, and you're going to need an ammonite pet. I don't have those, but I'm going to show you an example of how you would use this. First of all, you're going to want to get your, your rod. First of all, you're going to need a fishing rod, which most likely you have a fishing rod such as the Rod of Champions or the Rod of Legends. But at this point, you should be upgrading to the Rod of Legends if you haven't, because it's pretty cheap. Make sure you're upgrading to the Rod of Legends or upgrade to the Rod of Champions, which it, it, I'm pretty sure... Okay, I can't view the recipe, but I'm pretty sure it's like four uh, whale shark teeth or something like that, or great... I can't view the recipe, but I'm pretty sure it's four great shark, great white shark, which is about 12 million coins plus the, everything you already have. So it's kind of worth it. I have one. Let me go ahead and show it off to you. I have one. It, okay, so it's about 20.5 million coins. Pretty expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it because of the amount of sea creature chance it gives you. Mine gives me 23. If you recommended, probably give you 24. But yeah, it's worth it. So with your Rod of the Sea or Rod of Champions, whichever one you want to use, you're going to cast it, but there's there's a cat. You're going to need Auto Pet. Now, Auto Pet rule was added along the bitch shop, and pretty much what you're going to use it for is you're going to go to when you throw a fishing hook, you're going to equip your dolphin pet, and when you, you kill a mob, I think it's and is there like an any um, any mob oh when you gain skill xp in fishing you're gonna equip your squid pet and pretty much you're gonna go ahead and throw out your dolphin and after you catch your sea creature it's going to go down here and you're gonna go ahead and kill all the sea creatures down there after five minutes so after five minutes of fishing straight honestly you could set a timer you could do whatever you want you're gonna go ahead and go down there kill all the sea creatures because it says when you're gaining skill xp you're gonna be able to just kill your mob and it'll gain it'll bring out the squid pet and it's pretty sweet and honestly Honestly, I would do this to around fishing level 30. It could get boring, but remember to do the events as well, such as the shark event, the spooky event, and one of one of the events we'll talk about later. So at this point, you have your squid pet, you have your ammonite pet, you have your full shark armor. Now it's time to lava. One thing I recommend for lava fishing is putting your full shark set on wise, and you're going to want to get a fire veil wand. Now let's look at a fire veil wand. So a fire veil wand is around, it's around 11.7 .7 million coins, but pretty much if you use this fire Veil with a ability damage reforge and wise on your armor, it should be instantly, or not instantly, but it should be doing great amount of damage to your lava fish. Now let's go show what a lava fishing segment would look like. So in my opinion, you go up here and you're going to need to get a couple things to start lava fish. I recommend getting a magma rod. For example, my magma rod looks like this. I tried to max it out as much as possible. You can see all the rainbow on it, but you 
you're wanna you're gonna wanna get a double hook rod and a fishing speed rod. These can be kind of expensive, around a million coins. You're gonna put pitching on it, and you're gonna go ahead and grab it, and you're gonna use it. You're just gonna throw your your fishing rod. You're gonna keep your shark armor for now because you're only around fishing level 25, and you're just gonna lava fish. And I'll show you an example of what a lava <laughs> lava fishing creature. I didn't think I would get one so quickly. So this is what a lava sea creature is gonna look like. And you could either use a you're you're gonna use your fire rail wand. You're gonna get really close to them, and you're just gonna attack them. And you're gonna see that you're gonna get so much XP once I 1,000 XP from a single mob. With the fire veil, you could kill that thing in about three seconds. So make sure you have a fire veil, full shark armor, pretty good magma rod, and your luminous bracelet. And your ammonite pet, your squid pet, and you'll be pretty much good. You could also form parties to make it fish quicker, but in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're staying alive, and you'll probably be fine. You're just gonna fish until you hit around fishing 33. And here's where you upgrade your armor. You're gonna want to get Mugma legging, slug boots, flaming chest plate. You're gonna need fishing 33 for all of this. And I'm pretty sure there's another upgrade you can get. The last, the last fishing piece is the Taurus helmet, and that's gonna give you three secret creature chance. With the full set, with the Taurus helmet, the shark, the Mugma leggings, the slug boots, and the flaming chest plate, you should be getting around nine secret creature chance from the full set, and it's pretty good. But once, once you have a good amount of coins, you can go ahead and upgrade to the thunder armor. The thunder armor is needed to have fishing skill 36. So make sure you upgrade to fishing skill 36 before you can get the thunder armor. It's kind of hard to get. Like I said, fishing is boring. But once you're lava fishing, you'll be making a decent amount of coins and you'll also be getting a lot of XP. Now, here comes the sad part. If you want to be making a lot of money, you're going to need to trophy fish. What you're going to want to do is get to regular bronze trophy fishers so you can get the thunder sea creature. Of course, you could go for the Lord Jobbis. You don't need to do it. You don't even really need to get any trophy fishing gear to get all bronze. All bronze is pretty simple. I'm not going to be showing you how to do that. Just look up a guide on how to get the whole bronze trophy fish and go ahead and start fishing again to get thunders. Another thing you could do while you're th while you're fishing is you could get a thunder bottle. You can get an empty thunder bottle and every time you come across a thunder, you can go ahead and pick it in your inventory and you'll be able to level the thunder bottle, the thunder bottle as you go. But honestly, after you get your thunder lord armor, there's not a whole lot left. Of course, you could go for magma armor. You can go ahead and get magma lord for 4.5 sea creature chance and you could also get a hellfire rod if you would like to get to fish even faster. But in my opinion, that's pretty much all there is with fishing. After you get to about fishing 37, in my opinion, you should just put 30 of your, your 11 fishing minions down with catalysts to just upgrade the rest of your fishing. I feel like there's not a whole lot left to talk about with fishing. The, the progression is pretty linear, except when you get salmon armor, because it's going to take a long time. I am not, disclaimer, I am just not a fisherman at all. What I did is I just did fishing events to get to fishing 31, and I don't touch fishing. It's just after that mining video, I really wanted to get a video out describing another skill. So if anything, and I mean anything is completely wrong with this video and it sucks if this video is terrible let me know i will delete it instantly because i'm not good at this kind of stuff i just wanted to exceed the expectations of my last video so let me know and uh follow my twitch i stream there pretty often and subscribe and that's it that's all i got bye